guys! Today we're going to talk about unicorns, which growing up was one of my favorite creatures. So before we get into that, if you don't know, my name is Brittany and I film videos based around the paranormal and mythological creatures. So if that's something that you think might interest you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Now we're going to jump right into that topic. Now, unicorns are as everybody knows, is a typically a white horse with a horn coming out of the top of its forehead. However, there actually was proof of a, something called a Siberian unicorn. And they don't exactly look like our typical version of a unicorn. They're much bigger. They are furrier. And they're really more of a rhino than a unicorn. However, it did have a huge horn. And it was originally thought to have gone extinct 350,000 years ago. However, a well-preserved fossilized skull found was found in Kazakhstan. Um, and it revealed that the shaggy creature was still alive and walking the earth as little as 29,000 years ago. So, yeah, 29,000 years ago was not that little of a time ago. But considering they thought that these creatures went extinct 350,000 years ago, it kind of shows that that's a huge difference. So here is my son. Say hi. Um, he just wanted to join in on the conversation. So unicorns have been depicted in art and legends since Mesopotamian era, which was 5,000 to 3,500 BC. They can be found in legends of from Greece, India, China, along with several countries in Europe, especially Scotland. Now, if you did watch my mermaid video, it I did say that Scotland was very known for their mythological creatures. There was many sightings of them, many legends. And so there will be a lot of videos where Scotland is actually mentioned. Now, they're also mentioned in many sacred books around the world, including the Bible, which many people wouldn't think that that would be one of the books that they are mentioned in. Yeah. Um, they are said to have many magical powers as far as things like healing goes. So now my son is sitting next to me, but we're going to dive right back into it. So there were actually unicorn horns in the 15th century that were considered to be extremely valuable and extremely wanted. But not only the horns, there were also unicorn blood, unicorn fur, um, the entire carcasses, but a lot of the carcasses were said to have been faked. So, but we, we don't know if these unicorn horns were actually unicorn horns or they could have been narwhal horns or a number of things, but the interesting thing was that these unicorn horns were actually supposed to heal ailments. They're supposed to be able to um, cure all manners of injuries or diseases. So that's one of the reasons why they were so sought after. And actually Pope John III and King James I of England both paid great sums of money for entire unicorn horns. However, to this day, nobody knows where those horns are, so they can't be tested. There are many sightings about unicorns by infamous people. So a Greek doctor named Tsetsius, I, I have no idea how to pronounce that name particularly, um, but he, he, in the fourth century BC, he actually wrote great seriously of such creatures that he witnessed with his own eyes in Persia. The animal was described as being as large as a horse, 
which had a white body, red head, and a multicolored single horn with blue eyes. And the horn was said to come right off of their forehead. And measured about one and a half feet in length. The animals were described as being powerful and much faster than to have been any type of horse known to man. The Greek historian Her Herodot Herodotus wrote about unicorns of Africa in the third century BC and other travelers such as Pliny the Elder as well as Marco Polo also encountered them on their journeys. And historical figures, historical figures, just such as Julius Caesar, Genghis Khan, and Chinese philosopher Confucius also encountered them at one point in time. Even sporadic sightings of them actually continue up to modern day, which is pretty crazy. They're not as common of sightings, but they still happen. So in 1991, the famous Australian naturalist Antel Festetics claimed to have seen a unicorn while filming a wildlife documentary in the Hans Mountains. Now, he saw this unicorn and from as soon as he saw it, it was gone. So it was such a quick experience. But he would later go on to retell his story many, many times. He even had an interview in the Dia Gans Walk magazine, which, again, could have pronounced that wrong. And he quoted, suddenly a unicorn came toward me at a gallop. There was a glow of light around the animal. My horse reared and almost threw me. Then, just as quickly, it was gone. So it was a very, very quick experience, but a very magical one that stayed with him his entire life. And then in 1968, Robert Vavra claimed that he had a face-to-face -face experience with a unicorn in a Mexican jungle in the spring of 1968. He was able to snap one photograph. However, he waited a decent amount of time before publishing the photograph because of skeptics. And he was afraid of being told that his photograph was not real and that it was a hoax. There's also a video recorded of a supposed unicorn that had been taken in 2010 in the wetlands of Don Valley near Toronto, Canada. This video was taken by a, a bird watcher named Peter Hickey Jones. This video shows a white horse with a single horn coming out of the trees and then briefly galloping and going back into the trees on the other side. I did watch this video. It is a very short clip. It's very blurry, so it's hard to tell what, like it, it does look like a unicorn, but it's hard to tell if it is real. However, I feel like anytime people ask for evidence about these things and evidence is given, it's automatically assumed, oh, that's not real, that's a hoax. Someone faked that. So I'm inclined to believe that maybe this person actually went and saw a unicorn and managed to catch the magical creature on the tape. But you guys can go ahead. It is right on YouTube if you search it. Very easy to find. Now, even more recently, there was a sighting in the highlands of Wick in Caithness, Scotland. So again, Scotland. And this happened in 2014. So, wow, it's, it's 2020, so it's like six years ago. So it's more recent, but still a little bit away. Um, so this witness is unidentified. But he claimed to have been out hiking near the castle of Old Wick as when he described something, when he saw something that he described as a horse with a horn. And 
So there's many, many sightings. And I'm sure that there's a lot of sightings that, you know, people don't report because they don't want to be seen as crazy because they know that the majority of the public won't believe them. So this is a safe space. I literally believe anything for the most part. So like I believe in all the magical creatures and I do think that anything is possible. So if you had an awesome experience and you just want to share it with someone without being judged and without being told that you are lying or being fake and you just want to get that out there, you are more than welcome to reach out to me. I would love to hear your guys' stories. So I do want to hear what you guys think though. Like, do you believe in unicorns? Do you think there's a possibility that this magical creature might actually exist? So shoot me a message and I hope to see you guys next time.